The, the emergence of Larissa and the results she's had and the passion and the drive she has for to, in pursuit of her dreams, she wants to go to Sochi and she is laying it all on the line every single day to do that. And in, in this difficult environment of financing and funding, uh, she has come across a band of ragtag volunteers from Lake Louise who share the same passion that she has for excellence and success. And the leader of our volunteers is Julie Davies. And last night, she conceived of an idea where we can share in Larissa's uh, dreams and futures by helping support her, and Julie will explain to you her magnificent idea. Thank you. It's brilliant. Mm. So we did a raffle this year to raise money for volunteers and some additional activities we could do with volunteers to show our appreciation. And that raffle was for two tickets anywhere at WestJet Flies that was also donated by one of our volunteers. Um, through that raffle, we were able to raise a substantial amount of money. And um, while I was having this conversation and I was out for dinner with a few people, they were very passionate about Larissa and her cause. And I looked at the group and I said, why don't we donate the money that we raised uh, in the raffle to Larissa to help her in her dream. Unbeknownst to me, there was another group, two other groups of volunteers with the same thought, raising money at the exact same time. So I'd like to call up Larissa. Volunteers, we have friends of skiing that have also got on the bandwagon and got very passionate about this. So we have raised six thousand dollars today, and I believe there's more coming in. So thank you to all our volunteers. They all signed a poster for you. We wish you all the best. I had no idea. I was just told I had to introduce my teammate this weekend that's also racing with me tomorrow and nobody told me I would get this. Um, and this uh, I'm so speechless, honestly, obviously. Um, this weekend and this entire journey and actually my whole career racing for Canada has been um, incredible and has taught me how to be uh, better me and really as humble as I can be and learn as quickly and well as I can to be more brilliant in my next chapter. Someone did tell me that there is life after skiing. I don't know about that, but yet. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> um, babies and stuff. Um, or a sled dog. <laughs> um, right now I'm so deep and uh, happy about the opportunity that I have to race in front of each of you. I mean, racing at home is uh, the most incredible part of the season, and I'm so happy to have performed uh, the way that I'm capable of yesterday, and, and uh, today was a little bit different, but it's still a very solid and positive result, and my goal is Sochi, but my goal is also to just represent a whole lot of people who don't always get what they want at the beginning, maybe, um, but through some perseverance and uh, true, true belief, deep, deep in my heart, uh, achieve what I want. And you guys are making this happen and and really genuinely supporting me. And I really couldn't do it without you. Um, so happy my family's here, and um, thank you so much that. A uh, financial part of this journey too has been something that we haven't let go of because it's necessary. But thank you so much for each of you that think this is a good cause and want to donate this money. It's a, I promise I will work hard and uh, continue this good path. So 
have a really good time tonight, enjoy the company and the warmth, and um, I would really like to introduce my teammate for tomorrow, Marie Michelle Gagnon. Woo! So Alexandra in the front, she's sitting on the ground. She wants to know when Mitch started skiing and how she got into it. All right. Um, I first started skiing when I was two years old. My mom had a, like, a leash with me and all my skis and it didn't take too long that she 